one of the important conditions that we have in marriage from the Islamic point of view. Islam emphasizes that when you marry someone, you know, one of the things that you have to see whether they are kufu of one another or not. And kufu means you have to see whether they are compatible to one another or not. And one of the most important dimensions of that uh, compatibility is the issue of iman and faith. You know, if you look around, there are issues when you have two people from two different backgrounds, as far as faith or even mazhab is concerned, there are issues. Initially, things are very good. Oh, we love one another, we can handle whatever comes. But... Life is not like that way. Especially when children come in, then there are disputes. Do you go to for Shabai Shabai Qadr here or do you go for Tarawi over there? You know, many, many issues come up. And this is where the issue of Iman comes in. For us, one of the uh, best example is the example of Fatima Zahra and Ali bin Abi Talib alayhi salatu wasalam. I think the, the true love and relationship is tested at the time of difficulties. When things are okay, everything is okay. But that's not the actual time when you see the worth of a person. You know, this is a very interesting story. You might have heard it before uh, about Bibi Fatima Zahra once was not feeling well. And Amir al-Mu'mineen asked uh, her that what does your heart desire from the sweets of this dunya? What do you want now? Tell me and I'll, I'll go and get it. Remember this is normal uh, you know, level of life. We are not talking about miracles here. And this is where you know, Sayyida Fatima says that you know, my heart desires uh, a Rumman. Qalbi ashtahi rummanan. You know, my heart, you know, uh, desires a pomegranate. And when Amir al-Mu'mineen heard that, he said, okay, I'll try. First of all, he didn't have enough money at that time. So he had to go and first borrow. Then he goes to the bazaar, finds uh, the rumman, and then he bought it. While coming back to home, he saw a a, a poor person sitting by the side of the road who was saying that I am Marie's also. You know, nobody is helping me. So Amir al-Mu'min sat down with him. And he said, what do you want? He says, you know, many people have been passing by for more than one day here. Nobody turned or sat down with me to ask me, you know, how am I doing and whether they can help me or not. You are the first one. He says, what do you want? Interestingly, you know, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you a status, he will put you to even higher levels of test and trial. You know, why does it happen with him? We don't know. Because he is on that level. And he says, you know, I have this desire my wish is to get a pomegranate. He had only one. And he thinks about it. I have a wife at home who wanted this. And I promised I'll get it. She's not feeling well. This man on the street is asking for the same thing. Then he says, but I remember this ayat of Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, when a beggar comes to you, do not refuse in a rude manner. So Ali decided to sacrifice there and gave that Rumman to that, you know, poor uh, old man who was not feeling well. He had it, actually he brought it, uh, broke it for, for him and fed him. And he felt very comfortable and kind of better at that time. And this is where Amil al now has a bigger challenge. Goes home, kind of embarrassed. What does, what, do, what does he say to his wife? 
And this is the time of test and trial. This is where kufu comes in. Whether they are compatible to one another on the level of values and iman or not. You know, sometimes you will have similar situations where your respect and love will be questioned. You know, you have nothing in my heart for me, you give to somebody outsider. But now look at the example that we have from Sayyidah Fatima Salawatullah Alayha. <laughs> when he realized, when she realized, she says, Amma innaka maghmum. Wa Ali, you feel sad for what happened. Fa ta'ala. She says, I swear by the majesty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, innaka lamma at'amta dhalika shaykh al-rummana, when you fed that pomegranate to that old man, zala an qalbi ishtiha al-rumman. The desire that I had in my heart for the pomegranate just went away. You're not, you know, questioning him, not being upset with him, actually saying, Ali, don't worry. And, and this is where, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and now we come to the miraculous part of the story. Somebody knocked at the door. And Amir al-Mu'minin said, who is it? And he says, this is Salman. Ali opened the door and Salman was there, you know, holding a tray which was covered. And Ali said, Mimman hadha ya Salman. Salman, this is from whom? He says, Min Allah ila Rasul, wa min al Rasul ilayka. This is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Prophet, and from Prophet it has come to you. Amir al Mu'mineen, you know, took the uh, tray, picked up the cover, and he counted nine pomegranates. Looks at Salman and says, Ya Salman, law kana hadha ilayya, la kana ashran. Liqawlihi ta'ala man jaa bil hasana falahu ashran thaliha. Salman, if this is from Allah for me, there should have been ten pomegranates here, not nine. Because Allah promises in the Quran, if you do one good deed, I'll reward you ten times. And this is where Salman took it out from his bag. <laughs> They were close to one another, don't worry about it, you know. And this is where Salman, Salawat, he says, Ya Ali, wallahi kanat ashran. Yes, there were ten, ten, but I just wanted to test you. You know, and this is, this is where, remember this promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this is Surah Anfal. Uh, surah An'am, Surah number 6, Ayat 160, where he says, Man bil If you do one good deed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you ten times. 